Amazing atmosphere on the Suzanne Glen. It was the first time that I've played the semi-finals of Roland Garros in that court against a player that is the leader of a new generation. Very powerful, um, has, has a lot of strength and variety in his game. It was Davis Cup kind of atmosphere on the court. That's how it felt, you know. Uh, a lot of support for both players. It was just a lot of energy, you know, a lot of a lot of emotions going on uh, on the court uh, from the very first point to the last. Crowd was. Uh, actively participating in, uh, in each point. Those are the moments that you live in your mind when you're training every day. You know, that's where, that's where you want to be, that's why you practice. Quelque chose qui l'a vraiment complètement épanoui, c'était quand il a gagné pour son pays. Il s'est passé quelque chose de très très fort, je ne sais pas si vous vous souvenez, ils sont tous rasés la tête. C'était, euh, il y avait un, un engouement populaire incroyable. Et là, à mon avis, dans sa tête, il a dit « si c'est ça gagné, je lâche plus ». Et là, il s'est passé quelque chose. D'abord, parce qu'il y a eu ce respect, cet amour déjà chez lui, qu'il n'y avait pas forcément. Et c'est parti de là. Last year, when he lost to Stan Wawrinka, he received the uh, runner-up trophy, and the crowd really gave him a, um, a such a warm uh, applause because of the way he fought. I really uh, felt something very strong with French crowd. It was just a very particular moment that I had never felt before on the court last year in the final, and. Uh, what happened afterwards, uh, the appreciation and respect I got from the crowd and that standing ovation really touched me deep inside. This year, we've seen a Novak that enjoys it more, that, you know, he's, he's, he's not worried about being popular anymore. That's out of his mind, so that could really help. <laughs>